What's going on everyone? Design Coleman here. Welcome back. And the gameplay you're watching is me playing some Black Ops 3. So what do we have for today's video? Well, I came across an article and I thought it was uh, really interesting. Actually, it is really interesting. And I thought maybe uh, I would share it with everybody and hope you find it interesting yourself. And, you know, this, uh, this kind of talks to or kind of speaks to, you know, current students. If you happen to be a current student, whether you're in high school or you're in college or, uh, you know, you're a parent, you know, um, this is uh, some some rather interesting research. So, you know, I apologize for the length of the video. This one might be a little bit longer than usual, but, uh, you know, I, I tried to grab as many of the, you know, interesting parts of the article, you know, some bullet points and uh, uh, I'm going to kind of go over them and see what you guys think. And if you enjoy it, you know, I uh, hope you guys give it a like and, uh, you know, subscribe and all that good stuff. So, so let's go ahead and get into the, uh, into the details here. And basically this has to do with students who take notes by hand uh, seem to outperform students who type them, which means, you know, students who take notes uh, with a pen or pencil. Uh, compared to typing them. So uh, a few researchers at Princeton University and University of California found people who write their notes in longhand appear to learn better, retain information longer, and readily grasp new ideas. So taking notes, you know, it's basically been the way of learning, you know, uh, by turning what we hear and see into a reliable record for later study. You know, it's a dynamic process. It says one cognitive says one cognitive psychologist who studies them for taking notes you know you're transforming what you hear in your mind basically is what they're saying note-taking systems you know that they used you know to uh, do their research on is basically you know the pencil which was mass produced in the 17th century century uh, the fountain pen uh, which was patented in 1827 the ballpoint in 1888 and the felt tip marker in 1910 so these are some of the devices, you know, in terms of taking notes longhand that they uh, did their studies on. Uh, so uh, they go on to say that uh, people who do take notes on a laptop, on a laptop, do take more notes and can more easily keep up with the pace of a lecture than people writing their notes with a pencil. Uh, those that type on, you know, those that type on average type 33 words a minute, and those who write, uh, it's basically like around 22. Uh, so, but. This is, this is where it gets really interesting. You know, in the end, writing ends up paying off better. Uh, some researchers at Washington U in St. Louis in uh, 2012 tested laptop note takers right after a lecture. And those students could recall the information better than those who wrote their notes out. Okay, this was done with about 80 students. However, the advantage that the note takers, you know, with the laptop had... Uh, was pretty short-lived actually it, you know is after 24 hours the laptop note takers could no longer recall the material as well and their verbatim notes basically didn't help them any much uh, so it ended up being that those that wrote their notes out in longhand uh, were able to recall uh, the information a little bit better uh, those that took their notes by hand could recall uh, the material longer and had a better grip on concepts presented in class even a week later, they were able to recall the information better. The process of taking the notes down sort of, you know, encodes the information more deeply in your memory, you know, because you're, you're, you're trying to do two things at once. You're listening and you're writing and you're, you know, so your brain is kind of doing a couple things all at the same time. Uh, so uh, also in 2014, some psychologists in Princeton and UCLA arranged for students to listen to talks on a variety of topics, including algorithms uh, and bats while taking notes with a laptop or pen and pencil and were tested right after and a week later after being able to review their notes. Those who wrote their notes took fewer words down but appeared to think more intensely about the material as they wrote it down and digested what they heard more thoroughly. Laptop users took down what they heard word for word. When tested, the longhand note takers did significantly better than the laptop note takers despite the fact that laptop note takers had more notes to review. The problem is taking notes verbatim to the lecture. In one experiment, students were warned not to take their notes word for word, saying it would hurt them in the long run, but they couldn't help themselves. And this is because it's kind of a, it's just a natural response to, uh, 
when you're the type of person who takes notes with a laptop and types them out, uh, your natural response is to basically type everything for you know word for word. And this has happened to me before too. You know when I'm in uh, when I'm on a conference call and I happen to be taking the uh, meeting notes. You know the meeting minutes is what they call it. Uh, and a lot of times I will type them out on my laptop because I'll tell you what, writing them out, it, it, it gets messy. My handwriting is horrible. So I try to type them out as much as I can so I can read them better. But I do find myself trying to take it word for word. They go on to say, you know, uh, it's, it's really just, it's better to write them out. You know, uh, you know, I also want to say that, you know, all these experiments, they were conducted under laboratory conditions, you know, so none of this was, you know, uh, just kind of throw it together kind of stuff or whatever um, so you know I mean this is something that uh, you should really take in the into consideration now this is a this is an article that was in the Wall Street Journal uh, recently and uh, I wish I could post a link to it I'm gonna see if I can uh, but if not uh, I guess I guess you could probably go to the Wall Street Journal's website or you can uh, google it up you know uh, uh, you know, students who take notes by hand, you know, outperform students who type them. You know, you may come across the article that way. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you kind of learned something here. It, it, it was really cool. It was really interesting to read. And I really just kind of wanted to share it, you know, do a little video on it because it sounded really, you know, something that uh, you don't normally read about, you know, these days. So, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like, favorite, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.